What's going on everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, first off today, um, I would like to put forward that I'll have to back everything up on my hard drive of my laptop and um, reinstall the Windows altogether, which is what I was trying to avoid, but that's the final option. Um, as yeah, just been doing research and stuff like that, and um, apparently that's the only way. So I'll get to doing that as soon as possible. And um, yeah, just wanted to put that out there. Not too happy about that, but gotta do what you gotta do. At least I can get it backed up. Whether I do it myself uh, in a few weeks' time. Or I pay someone to um, to do it for me um, within the next few days or within the next week. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, that's that. Now also today is Story Sunday, so today's story is going to be about when I went to go for my forklift license for the first time. Now, um, uh, what happened was, early one morning I went in there, I went into the um, training facility, um, spoke to the coordinator about it, and um, basically signed up for it, had the cash all ready to go, and... Uh, we spent about an hour, hour and a half, I think it was, at least two hours, um, in the uh, meeting room, watching videos and doing theory work about it, about what to do and what not to do around the workplace, and um, just the general OH&S OH type of stuff, um, and. Yeah, once that was done, we all went out the back into the uh, training shed, and um, yeah, there was a there was a big row of shelves lining the back, and there was two barrels, and there was other forklifts and barrels and stuff like that along the side, and um, with that. We all done the course. All we had to do was go up, go around the uh, far end barrel, and make our way back. So that happened. Now, I didn't know that forklifts were a rear wheel steer. So when it came to my turn, I got up there. I got up to the barrel fine. Now, as I came around. Um, I swung the forklift that I was on. Sorry about that. I swung the forklift that I was on uh, too hard. I uh, swung around, hit one of the other forklifts that were parked. Uh, swung too far the other way around, and was basically in the position to T-bone the other forklift. They weren't really that far apart, and. Um, I bumped one of the levers. Uh, I was supposed to put it into reverse, but I ended up t uh, bumping the wrong lever or lever, whatever you want to call it, and um, I lifted up the other forklift about three, two, three feet in the air. Uh, then I, after a couple of seconds, I realised, and I slowly brought the other forklift back down. <clears throat> um, I found the reverse lever, so I got back up to the start uh, where we started, and by the time I got back there, the um, the instructor's face was pale white, like he'd just seen a ghost, and uh, he he just 
everyone just stared at me in disbelief. Like they, it looked like their jaw had dropped. And um, yeah, after that, the instructor, uh, the coordinator of the course, um, said to me, asked me whether I know how to, uh, whether I have my peas or anything like that, whether I can drive a car. And uh, I just looked at him and like, no, didn't say anything in the ad about it. Um, I wasn't told that I had to know how to drive a car. And um, yeah, they gave me, he ended up taking me back into the main office, giving, them, uh, giving me my money back. And he said, look, we'll keep your... Um, We'll keep your theory work um, on hand for a, for a while and come back when you've got your license or when you've got your P's. And um, I was like, yeah, no worries. And um, keep in mind this was about uh, 2008, 2009. So... Yeah, about six, seven years ago, I think. Yeah, give or take about six, seven years ago. Um, and I can't remember where the place is, so I haven't been back there um, to go for it again. And But now, um, if you're not working, the government hooks you up with... Uh, uh, case managers and uh, people to help you find work which is what I'm currently doing and um, they've she, my worker has told me that um, they can pay for my forklift license uh, they can pay for my uh, for a couple of other licenses that I need or certificates that I need, and um, I can get, she can get me, help me to get my RSA, um, Responsible Service of Alcohol certificate, and um, and heaps of things like that, like my uh, cabbie's license, so I can drive taxis and that. Um, I was recently called up the other, the other day, yeah. It was the other day now. Um, two days ago, I was called up from someone from uh, the office of where I go to my uh, appointments with my worker. And um, uh, it was to put me forward for a position for like, doing fencing and stuff like that, which I've done a little bit of in, the, uh, in previous times. And um, yeah, that that went alright for a couple of sites. <coughs> um, I was working for a family friend, and he, uh, my transmission in the last car I had, uh, blew in that and um, so I found another one and uh, my boss actually helped me to put it in because I didn't I didn't know how to put it in he did so he helped me to put it in and then he charged uh, basically he held he paid me he was paying me a little bit uh, a little bit of cash here and there, but um, he decided to withhold that from me, and he didn't end up paying me for that uh, for that uh, for that job, and ended up um, <clears throat> that pretty much ended up being his payment for it. 
I offered, he said that he didn't want any payment for it, but I decided to arrange with him uh, some sort of payback, whether I pay him back in uh, buying breakfast um, every morning or every week or whatever, whatever I can afford, and um, or some sort of payment arrangement, and he said not to worry about it. And, um, yeah, that didn't really go too well on that behalf, and that ended that job. But, yeah, now I can, um, now I'm looking to get my fork, uh, forklift license again, uh, try again, hopefully the second, uh, next time around is uh, a lot better. And, um, yeah, I don't know what else uh, much to say or do, so I'll leave the video here. Um, if you enjoy the video, hit the like button for me. Uh, subscribe if you're new, and don't forget to uh, feel free to leave any comments or feedback in this video or any of my other videos. And, um... Yeah, help me to grow the channel, like I say in every other video. Um, this is a raw vlog uh, this week until I can get my laptop up and rocking. Shouldn't be too far away. Um, depends on which avenue I take, whether I get it done quicker and get someone else to do it, or whether I wait a few weeks and uh, order something offline uh, from online. Um, that will help me to get my stuff off of the hard drive. So, um, yeah. See how that goes, and I'll leave this video here. Uh, take it easy, guys.